Hey everyone, it's me again. I'm going to tell you today about the 1990s to the present, which is Unit 11 in our U.S. History class. So let's get going. Unit 11 starts with the role of the U.S. becoming more complex, especially in the world. So let's talk about that here. As we get into the 1990s, communism fails in the Soviet Union, and it comes with the symbolic end of the of the Soviet Union in 1989 when the when the Berlin Wall falls but more concretely with the fall of communism in 1991 when a bunch of the Soviet republics collapse so this image here is supposed to represent the collapse of the Soviet Union in 1991 with the fall of communism also comes another conflict that the US gets involved in which is the Persian Gulf War the United States wasn't just involved in the Persian Gulf War, but it was also involved in the Middle East and in the Balkans, which is an area near Europe, but also involved in the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan during this time, which is an easy transition for the next screen here, where you'll see the attacks on September 11th, 2001. During these events, this brought to the attention of a lot of Americans the challenges that are going to be presented in the next decade because of global terrorism. So the United States is going to get involved in the fight against terror. This guy gets elected in 2008, Barack Obama. This is an incredibly important election in U.S. history because it involves the first time that an African-American person, a minority person, is elected to the highest office in the United States. So this is a pretty significant event for us. But also during this time, there's socially a lot of issues in America. For example, Americans continue during this time to struggle or grapple with issues involving immigration, issues involving the rising costs of health care, and even issues involving the rights of minority groups. Now, let's check your understanding to see how well you got this topic. So here's a question from 2015 EOC. So in this question, students were asked to read this primary source up top here. I'm pointing, there you go. The primary source says if there is anyone out there who still doubts that America is a place where all things are possible, who still wonders if the dream of our founders is alive in our time, who still questions the power over democracy, tonight is your answer. Barack Obama, November the 4th, 2008. This is during his uh, campaign. Now, <clears throat> Barack Obama described his 2008 election victory in this manner because the election was the first in which and then you got these option option choices, excuse me here. So F says a minority candidate was elected president. G says naturalized immigrants had access to multilingual ballots. H says federal courts ordered voter recounts to stop. And J says religious beliefs played a significant role in the presidential campaign. So why don't you go ahead and pause right here to see what you would pick in this question. So yeah, I'm, I'm serious. Hit pause on the video right now. Go ahead. Hit pause. Yeah, you. Yeah, hit pause. I want to see you hit pause. Okay, you're back. Good. All right, now that you hit pause, let's see if you got the correct answer. So the correct answer for this question from 2015 was... So let's see if you got the answer to this question here. The answer to this question specifically is the letter F. Good for you if you picked that one. Yeah, good for you. Let's see the next one here. Okay, let's take a look at another question. This one up here, this one up here, is another question from EOC. This one was from 2021, pretty recent question. So question one on that test said, read this list up top and answer the question that follows here below. Which time period is represented by the information in the box? Let's take a look at the box. The box says growth of social media, increased use of cell phones, election of first African-American president. Let's see if you got this. Pause the video here after I read the answer choices. A, 1970s, B, 1980s, C, 1990s, and D, 2000s. Let's take a look at which one. Pause the video, pause, pause, pause. Time out here, pause the video. Let's see if you guys got this. Okay, you ready? All right, you're back. I can, I can tell you got this right. Okay, let's go to the next slide here so you can see if you got the answer correct. The answer to this question obviously is the letter D right there. There you go. Oh, okay. I'm pointing in the wrong direction right there. There you go. That's the one right there. So good, good for you. Hope you learned something here after watching this video. Bye-bye.